and welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer, songwriter, vocal coach and session musician. And I'm so excited to be watching another Dimash Kudai Bergen video today. This one is brand new. This is what makes it super, super exciting. It's brand new. It's called, and I hope I'm saying this right, please tell me in the comments if I'm not, but Kairan Elim, I think that's it. So I don't know if there's going to be subtitles. I don't even know if I can, maybe I can put them on. Let's have a look. I've put them on, so we're going to hope that there's subtitles. We're just going to watch, see what the video is like. It's seven minutes long, which makes me think there's a lot that's going to be going on within this. And I believe it's the actual music video, so it's going to be really interesting just to watch that and see the vibe of the whole thing. And also, you know, do our usual, see what's happening with Dimash's vocals and with the instrumentation. Are you ready? Here we go. This is like the, the opening scenes of a movie. Allah Dalla. Dirt Kulant in Squinchir and Naidam. All time in a trough, Shaykh Benele. All a taumen Sararka, Dawirim Nang, Dawirin of Algan Jerem Nang King to the Naidam. You know, I, I have no idea what's being said here. The captions, the captions are not working at this point, but. The vibe that I'm getting is one of a kind of mythological, deep, dark, mm, something. Something big's gonna happen. It's like all throughout the land. Wow. Is that the word destiny? Even throughout this whole introduction, you have that going on underneath which really helps to set the scene just having a singular line of something can build tension you're actually able to see the instrument that's being played. Traditional elements. I love that. That sweeping feel, kind of note bend thing that you get. And in actual fact, um, that line that we were talking about is now a pedal point. So as this instrumentalist is changing his melody above and you feel like the chords could change, actually it remains with that same bass note underneath, uh, again, which provides the tension. Here we go, we're gonna see Dimash. It's like Game, game of Thrones. <laughs> Wow, that is an intimate vocal. Ha! Even right at the very end of that phrase, you get that tail end wispy sound that almost sounds like a cry. It's not, it's just the tail end of the breath. And that really shows us that intimacy. <laughs> With love for you, my homeland. I pray for peace on earth. Wow. See, there, he almost sounds like he is literally crying. This is the kind of song that I want to see performed live as well, because then you can get that Dimash connection. Um, but it's 
really interesting to me that I can still get that just from listening to the audio and feeling his pain. The lyrics are obviously full of pain and the tempered cannot be broken. <laughs> Oh, listen to the reverb on that. Whew. Okay, so it's Kairan Elim. Am I saying that correctly? I hope I am. Um, but this is a real, you know, the scene that we were setting at the beginning, one of war and the awful nature of, of humans sometimes. And this whole song to me at the moment is him, his kind of love letter to his homeland and the hope that peace will come. Look at the dramatic landscape and the darker colors. That's like the veins of the land to be in. And then he says, may your heart beat forever. So when I said that looks like veins, I'm assuming that was on purpose, you know, that's the way, you know, the vessels of the body of the land. And we've got that very subtle percussion. He kind of grabbed that little bit. Just listen to that again. Grabs onto that note. Oh, see what I was saying about the breath earlier? That was an amazing example of it just developing. Ah, turning it into part of the landscape of the song. And we have the, the um, piano weaving its way in and out of the instrumentation here. That's a constant throughout this whole thing. Uh, and I think that it's interesting that you have slight percussive elements working their way in and then working their way back out, but that piano just remains there. just coming into our next section it's like a precursor to a movement into something different so i'm expecting this next bit to be different from our last following on that melody moving the melody from the vocal back into instrumentation oh there's almost a cry on that isn't there And the, oh, I was going to say, is there blood coming through? And there it is, dripping down. Very interesting that the colours are fire and blood. What is happening? Okay, so 
yeah that's a thing um I was kind of distracted by the video there but also it just suddenly occurred to me how the zhum, the drums are kind of having this this big hit in certain places to build that drama but wow the video vocals now like a plagal chant of the backing vocals just coming through with that melody you know if you took away the music it could be like a plagal chant I'm almost sad that the piano's been burned <laughs> A new day has dawned out of the ashes of everything that was perfectly summed up at the end of that video. It only takes a couple of seconds. They've really got that down. Wow. Okay, we went on something there. We truly did go on something there. I, yeah, right. So, what did we think of that is the main question. Uh, the song is beautiful. The song is beautiful. As I say, it has this really lovely mix of traditional and then the way it told the story I thought was really clever and how the story of the lyrics matched the video together. They really were one, weren't they? So it was definitely a good idea to watch that video and then what I'd like to see is a version of that uh, live and I'd love to see what he does with the staging. I can imagine the elements of fire and blood and how he would recreate that staging wise, you know. I think it would be amazing. So we wait for that. And in the meantime, let me know what you think about this song in the comments box down below and what meaning you take from it. And if there's more that you can tell me about the meaning of it, obviously, because it's not my first language, um, despite seeing the captions, it'd be great to know a little bit about the beginning story as well. Uh, so yeah, just let me know in the comments box down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, become part of our family here. And you can, of course, find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. And you can find links to my video page where I can help you out with your singing and answer any questions you may have for me alongside links to my own music and to my Spotify playlist healing hits in the description box down below. So go ahead and check those out and I will see you again very soon. Love ya. Bye.